The price of football matches around England could be extortionate. Match tickets over £20, train costs being over £60, but how much does it cost to travel to a European fixture? Year after year, I feel like expenses are going up and up around this country. But what some don't realise is you could travel abroad, watch a football match with a beer in hand for such an affordable price. Today I'm going to Espana to watch the Liga for the first time whilst also calculating the cost of everything involved. First on the list then, we have to find a way of getting to Stansted. Today is via train. That cost me £6.39. Let's get on there. Any delays on that train, I would have been absolutely ruined. I bet no one can guess what city in Spain I'm actually going to. Nevertheless, a return to Spain and back cost me £25.97p. That's an absolute bargain. And just like that, welcome to Spain. We've arrived. Just for reference, I went to Stockport versus Salford last week and my train cost over £60. So you can fly for an affordable price rather than getting a train across England. City bus in about 35 minutes. I thought I'd cut the cost very low, get a city bus instead of getting a taxi where it'd be 10, 20 euros. I'm not going to add this to the total, but I'm a little bit of a fat so I've got to get some food. Here I am, after so much waiting, I am in the city of Vigo. Did you guess that in your head? I bet you didn't. Out of all the cities in Spain, I don't think this city would have been one in your mind. Look how beautiful this looks out in the sun, mountains in the distance. Oh, this is just beautiful. It's also 28 degrees, and one little fact for you already. My grandma is Spanish, and she was born in this city, Vigo. And it's great to be here for the first time to check it out and also watch Celso Vigo tonight. £26 for a flight to Spain and back? I, I, I still can't get over that, by the way. I mean, you can literally explore different cities like this where you never thought you'd go to but once you're here you find hidden gems this place is actually crazy the view we have here this whole video is to show you that you can go to places around europe explore new places explore new cities in the sun have a beer in hand for much cheaper than an english football game where you can go from somewhere like norwich where i live up to manchester and it's over 60 quids add it all up and then my match ticket later oh you're gonna be surprised by this one everything seems very modern up here then you look down here you've got this nice view i've literally hopped off a bus 10 minutes ago and here i am seeing all this it's quite nice one object for sure today is I need to find a Celta Vigo scarf although scarf do I really want a scarf in this weather probably not a shirt some sort of Celta Vigo memorabilia to bring home and hopefully that's at an affordable price I felt like we were just at the top overlooking the city now it's time to find out what's actually down in the city First impressions walking down, I'm, I'm actually really impressed. I had no idea what to expect visiting here for the first time, but so far, so good. I think I've just found a Celta Vigo store. The logo at the top there, the architecture looks really nice. If I can get a shirt, something memorabilia in there, it's a win-win, it's a win. I have found a jackpot for the football shirt though. Look at the sponsor in the middle. Normally it's like Gambler, but Estrella in the middle. Zero percent, I know we don't like that, but look at this. This is nice. Celta Vigo, I've actually got, you know, a good selection of kits here. Have you seen a store though? Look at this. Stunned. I'm absolutely stunned by just the design of this store. I do like having a collection of scarves every football club I go to around Europe. And for 12 euros, I think I'm gonna have to take this one. Yeah, it's being done. We can add that to the list then. Football memorabilia, Celta Vigo. £10.46 the conversion was. Add that to the list, I'm happy with that. I'm convinced this is just one whole massive street full of shops. All the classic shops you have in England, but nevertheless, it's a nice street you can walk down and go shopping. I seem to be a little bit of a tourist guide, but I think this is the square in, in Vigo, I wanna say. Might be completely wrong. Who would have thought though? 26 pound flight and you can see all this in the beautiful sunshine as well i am not complaining one bit this is beautiful it's a hot one it might be too hot i want to go by the coast but i just seem to be going down and down and down until i'm in the bloody sea itself tropa celta vigo that probably means ultra celta vigo no haven't got a clue but i'm trying to learn yeah that's sea i was hoping to see unfortunately it's just the port i had a feeling this would happen and unfortunately i'm not going to be able to see like the sea the beach everything like that because it's just a port <laughs> You know, this isn't meant to be a tourism travel, but I've been walking for the last hour, two hours, and everything is impressing me, from the people around it, they're so friendly, to the city itself and the scenery off the port, it's very decent. This cost me £42 to stay in Vigo for the night. It's actually a two-star. If we look, you know, two beds, I thought I was getting one. A little desk here, TV. Oh, to be fair, for two-star, you're not complaining at all, are you? Bathroom here, you know, it's simple. It's just absolutely simple. To go on these football trips, you don't have to stay in the most fancy places. This will do. £42, not complaining. And if we take a look at the view from the room as well, this is gorgeous. It's 2pm here in Vigo, and I must say, I'm absolutely shattered. I'm going to get a few hours kip. 
I'll tell you what, that was needed. I needed that sleep, but now I'm charged up, ready for sale to Vigo. It is an absolute scorcher today here in Vigo. I've been walking for the last half an hour. It takes 55 minutes to walk because I thought, on the way, I'll, I'll see some restaurants, get some food, get some tapas. Turns out there's no restaurants down these streets whatsoever. And I do not understand why. Looking around again, exploring different parts, walking around, instead of taking tra public transport, makes you look more around the city. But you can't complain about it, it's 30 degree weather. I mean, this hasn't gone to plan. I thought I was ordering a full bloke pizza. 10 euros and I've got this little thing. I've literally got a little sliver um, and that's 10 euros. I actually feel scammed at this point. Well, this is a promising sign. I've just been given salt, pepper, cutlery. I am not complaining. I thought that was me done for. My word, I am not complaining here. Look at this fat piece of pizza I've got. Now it's the money's worth. Now I've got it. 12 euros 10 for all of that, especially the snacks they give you on the side as well. I don't think that's too bad price. This is not how I expected the Celta Vigo Stadium from the outside to look. I've never seen a football stadium built and designed literally like this either. I think it's really unique and good here. <laughs> This game is absolutely vital for Celta Vigo, and let me explain why. Celta Vigo are four points off relegation with three games to go, whereas Girona are fighting for a Europa Conference spot as they are two points from Bilbao. The home side have lost their last four games, but are hoping to put things right today. Gabriel Viega will be the man to look out for today, scoring nine and assisting four this season. I don't even know how to describe it. Like, the design is just weird. It's very modern. I thought this was going to be a really run-down old stadium, but literally complete opposite from the outside right now. Here we go, then, the moment of truth. How much was my match ticket to watch Celta Vigo versus Girona tonight? Well, for an under 25 year old ticket, it cost me eight euros, and I'm not even joking. Here's the proof of that £6.98 conversion into pounds. It's an absolute bargain, and you'll never ever see a ticket for that price in England. I mean, maybe if you watch non league or there's a special family day. But other than that, you'll never see ticket prices like that. I can't go over how funky the stadium is. But if we go around the stadium where I'm about to enter, this looks a bit more run down, a bit more old. And this is the part where it's got a bit more character about it, which is equally as good as the good modern parts about it as well. We are in what? Is this the concourse? Bins. A bit different to the norm. And this is the stadio. Ah, oh. oh, it's got a map. Look at that stand, by the way. Don't like these track bits, though. I don't like that. Nevertheless, new stadium. I'm not complaining. I can't get over how beautiful this stand is. Obviously, it's brand new, and you can tell from the stadium design now from the outside. Whenever that gets opened up, I have no idea. But so far, this looks really good. Only negative would be this area here towards the pitch. No, hopefully, a good game. Atmosphere-wise, no idea what to expect. And here come the teams. This is so different to what I'm normally doing. This is where the old thing is by the looks of it. I haven't got a clue what's going on, but it's so different to what I'm normally going to around here. Let's not forget as well, my grandma is Spanish and she's from Vigo. This is meant to be my Spanish club. I hope they win today, I hope they win. See you in Cell Vigo for the first time. First time being in Vigo for the first time. Looking forward to this. And we are underway here. My first league experience as well. I've been down there from Madrid, I've been to Real Madrid, I've been to Barcelona, but they've all been in European competition. We've got an orchestra coming along here. A goal must be coming, it's been all them. There you go. Oh! I'm so to think about one and I have no idea. This ain't good. To shoot, oh wow. Talk about shooting wild. I'll tell you what, there is a little bit of an atmosphere, I'll give them that. The atmosphere section may be over here, but they're making a good amount of noise. Game related though, there's not been much going on. Atmosphere though, I'll give them the credit it deserves. Now this could be the 1 0. This could be it. Deflection. Oh! There it is. 1 0 Celtic Eagles. That is huge. And the scarves are out. And there is the half-time whistle, 1-0 Celta Vigo. They hold on to this win, they're surviving for another season. What is this theme tune? What is this theme tune? I thought it was like an advert in England, I can't even remember what it was, but I suppose it was an Either way, the second half is about to get underway and hopefully Celta Vigo can hold on. Ah. Is it a penalty? Is it a it's a penalty. It's a penalty to Girona. About 16 minutes in, there's a stonewall penalty. No argument about that. Look what it means. 
Sir Ball. That was quite a bit of goal all day long. Great save for the keeper. And maybe the football gods of this sort of video today. No way. It's being retaken. It's so confusing what's actually going on in this game. Penalty is, like, is actually a penalty. That was being retaken. No one really knew. I didn't know in particular. Here we go then. Take two for Stuani. No mistake. No mistake this time. We're already away fans, by the way. I don't know where the away fans are in the stadium. We were looking around and no one in a home. Do they even have fans? Like, that's a serious question. Now they're angry. Now they're angry. No one else going on at this point. No one else. Just a little update. The orchestra uh, are in this corner. Right, let's make it 2-1 here. Shoots. Oh, that's close. That was close. Very, very close. Nearly 2-1. Right now, as it stands, they're not safe. So, they've got to go for this win. Surely it's coming for them. Oh, the keeper is having a masterclass. This keeper is having a blinder. Ash passes on. He's been the star this season. Now for Celtic Vigo for many years. That was sexual when it's going on, by the way. Caught me off guard. Chance here. Oh, he's saved again. Five minutes to play. Tell you what, Celtic Vigo, you fancy to get a winner here. I'll oh, give it to them. The atmosphere all game has been really good. Oh, and out of nowhere, it's, it's full time. Didn't even hear the whistle. I'll tell you what, for eight euros, that was not bad whatsoever. A 1 1 draw, really interesting game. It is 10 o'clock at night, and it is still light around here, which I cannot believe in itself. A beautiful sunset in the distance. Nevertheless, today, the whole trip a flight, food, match ticket, absolutely everything possible came to £101.63. Absolute bargain when you think about it. My train last week to Stockport cost 63 quid. My match ticket cost £20, and look what it is now £101 for a European fixture. Think about going abroad when you can fly for about £20. Go on Skyscanner, search for some cheap flights and you can watch football in the sun all year round as well. No specific time in the year. Go get your flights and I'll tell you what, like myself today, 30 degree weather, football for six quid, I'm not complaining. What a day it was and a very affordable rate in my opinion. See you later.